On to the latest in a development project over in Webster, the Sandbar Park Project. The parcel of land is on Lake Road. You might have seen it already. Dan Gross caught up with the town of Webster today to talk about the project and when this public park might finally be open. It's hard to believe, but the town of Webster bought this piece of land in 2003. And 20 years later, there's now an end in sight for this project. The town of Webster said today it was always the master plan to turn this part of Lake Road into a park. In 2022, the town received state funding to shore up the shoreline, which was the infusion of cash they needed to kickstart the project. Those resiliency projects are now complete. Commissioner of Parks and Rec for Webster, Chris Bilo, says part of the plan was demolishing the old Bayside Pub in 2022. Bayside Pub applied to be back in the park, but ended up pulling out. Bilo said they reopened applications for all earlier this year. We have one restaurant tour that we're meeting with. Uh, to continue the discussions about having a restaurant at that location to the point that they're actually in, in design phase. Bilo didn't say no when it came to working with Bayside again. Rob Buono, the former owner of the pub, said this in a phone interview today. We would love to be in that space again. We came up, we were the only ones to put a proposal in. Uh, we told them and we also provided them with our financial statements that said this is what we could afford. We have 25 years of experience. This is what the place makes. This is what we can afford. And they had a different vision, and they laid their terms out, and the terms were final. Whether or not the park has a restaurant, it's slated to have a playground, an accessible trail to view the water and sunsets, boat launch, amenities, and more. The opportunity to finally be able to have, uh, you know, a park location that is a true park. The town says that they expect work to be done on Sandbar Park come November of this year. Reporting in the town of Webster, Dan Gross, News 8.